Alessandra here with another Maker Monday for you. We're going to be doing a Maker project using some recycled products, things that you might have around the house. Um, and this week we are going to be making balloon bowls. I'm going to warn you that this project takes a little bit of patience because you do have to wait overnight to do the finished product but it will be a lot of fun for you to do and you'll get to use the bowl afterwards. So it's definitely worth the wait. So if you wanna join me in making a balloon bowl, then continue watching. I'm gonna give you the supply list. So for our balloon bowl project, um, these are all the supplies that you are gonna need. I'm gonna give you a couple of different options you can use um, for the things that we need. So first, obviously, we are going to need um, a balloon. These balloons are the ones that can blow up to 12 inches, but depending on how big you want to make your bowl, um, if you have smaller balloons and you want a smaller bowl, that's fine as well. So um, a balloon that you're eventually gonna blow up, so make sure you got lots of air in those lungs to blow this, or you have an adult help you blow up that balloon later. You're gonna need a paintbrush. I'm using um, one of the foam paintbrushes that I have, but you can certainly use a, a different type of paintbrush that you have at home. You're gonna need tissue paper or confetti. Um, if you're using tissue paper like me, you're going to be cutting them into smaller pieces. They can be whatever color you want, or if you're using confetti, that's fine too. You'll just pour it on when we're ready for that. The other thing that you're gonna need is either Mod Podge. I'm out of Mod Podge, so I'm going to be using liquid glue in a mixture um, with water. So this is a bowl of water. I'm gonna pour some liquid glue in there and make the um, glue part of this more liquid-based, more water-based, because that's what we need for this project. So bowl of water and liquid glue if you don't have Mod Podge. And then the other thing that you'll, you'll need is a bowl just to hold your balloon still when you're putting on the tissue paper or confetti. And when it dries, you'll need some sort of a pin, whether it is the tip of a pen or a push pin, um, just to pop the balloon so we can get the balloon portion out of the bowl. And that's all you need for this project. So if you're ready, we're gonna get started and hopefully we have a balloon bowl at the end of this. We are going to start with prepping our supplies to make our balloon bowl. The first thing is if you are not using Mod Podge, you're going to need to get a bowl and put um, some water in that bowl. I've done that. You don't need a lot of water. Um, just a little bit that you're going to be mixing with your liquid glue. So I'm just pouring some liquid glue into the water. Um, again, to make that glue more watery, um, like a Mod Podge would be. And I'm just gonna use my paintbrush to mix that up. So you see it's a very like liquid watery type of glue um, if you need to add more glue in if you overdid the water you certainly can I'm gonna add a little bit more glue in here okay oh. and mix that up a little more all right and I'm gonna let that um, sit to the side the next thing that you are going to be prepping is your confetti. If you're just using confetti, you don't have to prep anything. But if you are using tissue paper like me, you're going to want to go in and cut them into small squares or triangles because we're going to overlay them. Um, so definitely go ahead and, again, cut those out into small, you know, two inch by one inch squares or triangles um, to put on your balloon. Finally, the last thing to prep is going to be your balloon. So you're gonna have to blow this up. Hopefully you got some air in those lungs to blow it up. If not, uh, ask a parent to help you. They might not do any better than you, but um, we need this balloon to be um, pretty well blown up 
Again, doesn't matter what size you're using, it just will depend on the size. If you want a smaller um, bowl, you want to use like a water balloon size. If you want a bigger bowl like this, you're going to want to use the balloons that can get up to 12 inches, and that's what I have right now. All right, so wish me luck. I'm going to blow this up. I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna let out a little bit of air, it's a little too big. All right, so this is going to be the circumference of my bowl. It's a little bit bigger than my bowl here, which is fine. I'm gonna let it out a little bit and tie that off. Again, if you need help, ask an adult. Um, and this balloon is going to sit with the tie in that other bowl that you got so that you can have the top where that piece is. This is going to be where you're adding the glue and the confetti. And that is everything you have to prep to start. So get that prepped and then we're going to do our first layer of the confetti. So hopefully at this point you have prepped all of your materials. Your balloon is in the bowl with the bottom tie part down to keep it steady, kind of push it down so it's in that bowl. You have either your Mod Podge or your um, liquid glue and water mixture ready to go. And you have lots of tissue paper or confetti um, that you are going to be using. The first step is you are now going to be putting that glue mixture, whatever you're using, um, all over the top of this balloon. So I'm going to just kind of put it all over. Again, if you need to add more glue so it's more gluey rather than liquidy, certainly do that. I might have to do that to see if this will actually stick. We'll see. Um, and you're going to um, go, I don't want to say halfway down, but pretty close to halfway towards that bowl um, that you have it in. Okay. With that glue. Um, we are going to trim it at the end, so definitely um, have scissors handy as well later on. So let's see if this sticks. If not, I'll add some more glue in. And I'm literally just covering the balloon in no particular pattern. I have like four different colors I'm using here, but um, just sticking on in no order. You can certainly do a pattern if you want. That's gonna take a little more time, um, but this is your bowl, your creation. So you're just going to put glue all over that balloon um, so that you can stick on your pieces. I just tore my um, pieces of tissue paper, but if you want to make it look a little bit nicer, um, you can certainly do it by cutting. Um, we're going to be doing layers, so this is just our first layer. Remember the bottom layer is not going to be seen as much as the later layers so um, and I'm thinking I'm gonna have to add a little more glue here because some of it is already drying okay okay I'm just doing sticking them all over no particular pattern um, until I get that bowl shape You want to cover it pretty well. Um, again, just the first layer we're going to be covering again um, up to four times. Um, and each time we're going to be waiting about 30 minutes for it to dry between the next layer. That's why I said this is a project that is going to take a little more patience than some of our other ones that are quick and you know, instant gratification once you complete it. Not only do you have to wait to do each layer, 
but this project, you have to wait overnight for it to dry so that you can pop the inner balloon um, to take the balloon out and then get your bowl. So it does, like I said, take a lot of patience because you're waiting a full 24 hours and every half hour, you know, when you're putting on the layers, you have to wait. So um, this initial part of creating this may take about two hours. Obviously, you're not working the whole time, but it, it takes a little bit of patience. And hopefully you have some patience because it's going to be really cool at the end. I'm just filling in those spots right now um, where I have empty space. Again, I didn't do a pattern. You certainly can. Um, if you are just using confetti, you're just going to pour it on and make sure it's sticking um, rather than placing the tissue paper like we are. Um, and again, you'll have to do multiple um, layers as well. So whether you're using confetti or tissue paper, going to be doing multiple layers um, of this. I see a spot I missed. So I'm just gonna put a little more glue there. The reason why we have to wait for it all to dry is because when we do the layer, we're going to be putting more glue on top. And if it's not dry, it's just going to rip your confetti or your um, tissue paper. So we don't want that to happen. I'm missing just a couple spots over here. So that's too big of a piece. It was a little lopsided, but that's okay. Like I said, we're gonna trim it um, once it's all done, and once the balloon is out, we can actually go ahead and um, trim it to make that bowl shape. So if you go a little further down on one side, don't worry about it. Um, we can certainly fix that later on. I have a couple more spots, and then I'm gonna let this dry. All right, so that is my first layer. Everything's sticking, everything's covered. If I missed a spot, it's okay, because I'm gonna recover later. Um, so now I'm going to wait a half hour, then come back, and I will do a second layer with you guys. So I've waited a half hour now, and I'm going to do layer number two. Um, so we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're gonna put, um, some glue over layer number one, and you're going to use a padding technique to put this glue on so that you do not mess up um, whatever you have already put onto the balloon. So you're just gonna be padding like this all over the pieces that are already there so you're not pulling them off by just going down. See how I did that one? So we're just gonna pat, pat, pat all over the tissue paper or the confetti that you have already glued down once it is dry. So hopefully you've waited the 30 minutes and um, you can do layer number two. Once that's dry, you're going to be padding some more glue or Mod Podge, whatever you're using, all over the area that you have already covered on your balloon. And this is gonna be layer number two. We are going to be doing four layers to make this um, bowl. So it's a lot of layers, but it will make it a nice tough bowl once it um, can be taken out of, you know, when the balloon can be taken out. So I've covered with glue and I'm just, again, going to go in, randomly place everywhere there's glue, some more of this tissue paper that I have ripped apart. Um, again, if you're using um, confetti, perfectly fine. You're just going to be pouring it on or spreading it all over. Um, you just want to 
continue to cover the area and we're gonna make that area pretty thick um, by doing multiple layers. So try and watch where you're putting your pieces so that you know you've covered it multiple times. And I'm just doing that right now. I'm just covering all the space. I've now put more glue on to make it pretty thick for when we make the bowl later on. Um, see my tissue paper colors are running. Will help if you have some uh, newspaper you can put underneath this so that your glue doesn't run down onto your table like it's doing to me right now. And we're just covering everywhere again. love to see your bowls when you finish you can email pictures to my email it's a p e t r i n o at westonct.gov i would love to see the bowls that you guys make whether it's a confetti bowl or a tissue paper bowl or um, something else that you figured out that you could create this way um, it is kind of like a paper mache, so uh, you know you can use different pieces of material, whatever you have at home to do this. And it's just a fun thing to occupy your time a little bit and make something fun that you can use later on. I think I've pretty much maxed out my area over here, so I'm just turning it to do some of the pieces I haven't done a double layer on. And again, I'm just covering this and then I will wait um, 30 minutes to do the next layer with you. So sorry that you have to keep stopping and pausing. Um, but like I said, this is a very um, patience needed craft is not sticking so just put some more glue there it's also a very messy craft but. so I'm thinking that is uh, layer two and again um, just covering all the areas Maybe that area needs a little more coverage. And we're going to wait another half hour, so I'll see you soon. Welcome back to our next layer that we're going to do for our balloon bowl. This is has two layers so far. Um, it has dried, so we are going to move on to our third layer. And um, again, we're just going to be dabbing on glue over what's already there. And then putting some more tissue paper over it. Just kind of dabbing and then I'll do this and move on to the next piece. Hopefully you have let it dry um, for that 30 minutes so that you can do your next layer. We're getting there. I told you this is um, a very tedious craft where you're going to uh, be waiting a lot. <laughs> um, so 
hopefully you can stick it out so you can get a really cool end project. So I'm just doing layer number three and we'll do one more layer after this before we let it sit for the night. So just doing it all over. My fingers are turning red from my red tissue paper. You can use these bowls to kind of hold whatever you want, whether it be um, like hairpins or pencils or crayons. Um, you know, they'll be sturdy enough to hold lighter things. So you can put Legos in it, whatever you would like to store should be able to just be held in the bowl. And again, you can make any size bowls you want. You would just blow up the balloon to be the size you want the outside of that bowl to be. So I'm going to just finish covering around the balloon for the third layer and once again I will let this dry for 30 minutes. Then we will finally come back, put our final fourth layer on um, and let it dry overnight. So I will come back in a little bit. and let it dry so that I can show you how to finish it before we let it sit overnight. So just continue doing this um, and then let it sit for a half hour and we'll be back again. We have reached the time where we're going to do our final fourth layer of tissue paper to make our balloon bowl. It's been sitting for a half hour. It's kind of dry. I just put some more um, glue on and I'm just going to be doing one final layer on top of a little bit more tissue paper and then I'm going to show you how we're going to finish this project to let it sit overnight and dry um, before we actually pop the balloon and get our finished bowl product. Um, so right now I'm just doing another layer of more tissue paper so to make it nice and um, thick so that the bowl is sturdy enough to hold things like hairpins, pencils, crayons, or Legos, um, you know, little knickknacks you might have around the house. So just doing one final layer here which is good because I'm almost out of to tissue paper over here. Um, uh -huh. So what's going to happen is once I finish my fourth layer, what I'm going to do is do a final layer of just glue on top of that final layer of tissue paper and that is going to sit overnight fully dry for the next day and then I'm going to come back here and use a pin to pop the balloon um, that is making this bowl shape for us. When the balloon pops we're going to slowly peel it out of the inside of our bowl so we just have the outer bowl which is made by these layers of tissue paper that we've been putting on so 
that's kind of the next steps in this process. I'm almost finished doing my fourth layer here. And once that's done, I'll let you see how I just cover the whole outside with the glue, with one last layer of just glue. Um, and that's how we're gonna leave it to dry. So like I said, it's a tedious project. Obviously, it's taken us a couple hours um, to do it all, but at the end, hopefully you'll have a really cool um, project that is completed that you can use at home or give as some type of gift to a friend or a relative, um, and they'll know that you made it. So that's kind of cool. I, I like being able to make things that you can then put to good use or somebody can put to good use um, at the end of it. So almost out of my tissue paper. I'm just gonna go until I run out of tissue paper. I might have done a little bit more layering over here than four layers, but as long as you have four layers, you should be fine. Even three layers probably would have been fine, but I really wanted to make sure this um, bowl was sturdy and um, will hold anything that I put in it. So I have a couple pieces left here. Just gonna doo -doo -doo, put those on. And like I said, if it's not even around um, the circumference part of what your bowl would be, don't worry about that because we're gonna use scissors and just reshape that at the end. Um, so that we get the bowl shape that you want. So that's all of my tissue paper. I've done my my four layers around, whoa, four layers around, and um, now I'm just gonna do a final seal of the glue. Again, just be very careful when you are putting the glue on. If you have to dab, just dab it on. Um, you don't want to rip any of that tissue paper that you've just put on. You just want to do like a very nice um, outer seal with the glue. You're going to smooth it on everywhere. And you don't want any of the tissue paper pieces to stick up. You want it very flat to the balloon. So that's what we're doing now. Just doing one last seal of the glue. Okay. Now, like I said, when we're done with this part, you are going to leave this alone. I suggest leaving it in the bowl overnight, 24 hours, for it to completely dry. I know it's a long time to wait, but it's better that you wait and your project come out correct and the shape that you want it, then all of your hard work for these past couple hours go to waste because you get impatient and wanna pop the balloon. Um, I do know that feeling, but just try and hold out 24 hours and um, then you'll get your final product and you'll be really happy that you waited. So, like I said, it's a little bit of a messy project, but okay. So, as you can see, so much glue all over as a seal in the bowl. I'm going to leave it to sit 24 hours, and then I'll be back with a pin to pop our bowl. So, I've let this sit overnight, and we are going to finish our balloon bowl project. I have a pin here and we're going to pop the balloon and then hopefully our bowl from the tissue paper will stay um, in that shape and uh, we'll finish up from there. So let's hope it goes well. So the balloon's peeling away from the outside, which it's supposed to. Don't be alarmed when this happens. Okay. All 
right? So once it stops moving itself, you can slowly peel it out. And you have your bowl. Obviously, um, the outside is not even, so that's where our scissors are gonna come in and we are going to shape um, the outside of our bowl to whatever shape you're looking for. Um, so get a pair of scissors. You may need an adult help with this, but get a pair of scissors and uh, shape the outside of your bowl. I'm just doing a straight round cut around the bowl. Just to try and make it even. So that is my bowl. And it will just sit. Like I said, you could put little things in it, pens, scissors. Scissors are a little heavy, but that's your balloon bowl. Hopefully yours came out well. I'd love to see pictures of it. Um, you can email them to A-P-E-T-R-I-N-O at westonct.gov. And I hope you had fun with this project. See you guys next week.